Hi everyone, it's Bethany at The Pink Hutch and welcome to my channel. In this DIY, we're going to be making some fun faux Halloween con candy that was recently inspired by my trip to the Glitterville showroom. First things first, let's go over all our supplies. You're going to want to have some paper straws in any color or pattern that you'll choose. You'll also want to have some roving wool in any fun color as well. You'll want to have a good pair of scissors and some fast drying glue. I'm also going to link everything you need in a supply list on Amazon in the description below. And you can also take a screenshot in three, two, one, go. Once you've got your supplies, let's go ahead and get started. You're going to pick the color of roving wool that you like. I'm going to go with pink because y'all know how much I love pink. And what I'm going to do is start taking it apart. When you look at real cotton candy, it's really fibery and wispy. So we're going to create a similar texture here. All I'm doing is taking my roving wool apart and fluffing them out to prep them to make our faux cotton candy. You're going to set out your fluffed pieces aside and repeat the process. Now once you've gotten a good fluffed out pile of roving wool pieces, you can go ahead and pick up a paper straw and we're going to place some glue about a third of the way down from the top. You want to coat it liberally to make sure that we'll get your roving wool to stick. Now you're going to take a piece of roving wool and place the end on your straw where your glue is. You're going to tuck it down and start twirling the roving wool onto your straw. So after that first layer, you just want to go ahead and twirl it in your hand to press down any loose fibers sticking up. Grab another piece, tuck in the end, and you're also going to repeat the process and twirl. Roll it in your hand to press down any loose fibers. Now for the next layer, I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more glue. I'm going to tuck another piece of roving wool down and twirl. So by now it's starting to look like a giant q-tip and all you want to do is keep repeating this layering process and build on your cotton candy. Then make sure that you twirl it after each layer to get your fibers down. I'm going to go ahead and speed up through the next process so y'all can see what I'm doing and we're basically going to keep repeating those steps.
I'm now on my last layer of roving wool that I want to add on my faux cotton candy. And I'm just gonna smooth out this last layer and fluff it out and twirl it in my hand until I get the look that I want. And there you go. You've got your faux Halloween cotton candy inspired by Glitterville. You can add your ribbon or your fake spiders at the end. I hope y'all learned to do something fun and creative today. If you make these, make sure to tag me on Instagram at The Pink Hutch. See you in the next video.